Hey everyone, my name is Josue Romero. You might know me as the Garnish Guy on Instagram. So today, we're gonna make you something special. It's a strawberry and mint margarita. Something you can make at home for your friends, your family, or the special someone you want to impress. So we're gonna start right now. All right, so we got some uh, medium sized strawberries. You know, cut them up in about, I would say five, four little shops in there. And that is so good. So right here, and then we get some fresh mint. So again, go to the fresh market, get some really good fresh mints there. Um, it's nice flavor, slap it if you can, so you can get those nice aromatics in there. And I'm gonna put a little sugar, half a cup of sugar. I use brown sugar, it's something that my family always did, you know, we got, went for that fresh and organic and natural, no additive of, of anything chemicals. We have a little, a little modeling, not too much, just a little there. And uh, if you don't have a modeler, find something fun that you have and uh, be able to incorporate that into your recipe. And, so we did a half a cup of sugar, we also gonna do a half a cup of water, equal parts. That'll be the recipe for a standard simple syrup. Add that in there. Make sure it's hot and boiling, so you let it steep there for a bit. I'm gonna let it sit down and maybe a little more extra muddler. So you actually can get some of the flavors of the strawberry out and some of the mint, and the hot water actually will melt that sugar. It will make a nice, uh, fruity, yet herbal um, syrup. So we have some fresh limes right here. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this rolling. Probably get about, let's say two limes, you know, just to get enough for everybody to enjoy a really good cocktail. Well, oh, lime juice is in the making. The strawberry and the mint and the sugar is uh, melting, so we get a good syrup. We're gonna do a little muddling right here to get some of the fresh fruit flavors into the mix. This is something sometimes you can actually use all the ingredients. In particular today, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the strawberry mint margaritas. This is ready. So uh, let's strain that. Look at the color. Just what we need. You can actually batch that for a, for a party if you have some friends over. And today the tequila we're gonna use, one of my favorites in the moment, is actually a really good tequila. It's Casa Mexico, is the Blanco. And we're gonna go for that. I'm gonna make one cocktail for now to show you guys the one I'm gonna be drinking myself. Uh, it's gonna be a, uh, we're gonna do a good two ounces of, of Casa Mexico tequila. For margarita especially, it works out really well. Uh, we're gonna use then um, half an ounce of this strawberry mint syrup that we just made. So it's fresh. Uh, make sure you let it cool off for a bit. Let's do an ounce, actually, of lime juice. I like my, uh, my margarita a little on this savory side, you know, not too sweet. And there we go. And then to round the edges of that margarita, we're gonna go ahead and add some uh, orange liqueur. We're gonna go ahead and do half an ounce of that as well. And if you are one of those like me that, that wants a little kick into the margarita, today we're gonna use a, a little poblano pepper in there. So put it right in. And we're not gonna muddle. I just want a little hint of it. So once we shake the drink, you're gonna get those uh, spicy notes into the drink itself. And I have some uh, big pieces of ice right here. And then we're gonna shake that really well. Salud. Mm, the smell, just fantastic. A couple ice pieces there. Just to keep that drink chill, but without it getting too diluted. Mm, you smell it and uh, it smells heavenly. So here it goes. The color, obviously the strawberries in there, the pepper is there, the citrus, tequila obviously is amazing in there. And then we're gonna garnish it. We'll see. The garnish guy has to garnish his drink. So we have some fresh mint. Uh, mint uh, has a very special automatic component, mm, slap it a bit to wake it up, put it right in the drink, there you go, and then put a little strawberry, just, uh, just to garnish a little more, so let's cut them up, and a little, little, little fan, right here in the corner, and there you have it, a strawberry mint margarita, made with a special Casa Mexico tequila, cheers.